go to the phones. John from California. Welcome to the program, John. Hi, this is uh, John from California. Hi, John. And uh, I was calling in because a fellow member of our Libertarian Party had turned Democrat by listening to your show. She said, yeah, he seems to have a, a pretty good grasp on his economic situation. So she had me listen in. And I'd like to debate you on everything you've ever said at all. It just seems to me like you have a superficial economic grasp of all that's going on. And the first thing I'd like to ask you is, when has regulation ever worked? You always seem to say, when has free market never worked? When has regulation ever worked? When has regulation... Go ahead and give me any example. Uh, do you have diarrhea right now? Well, no, no. I'd like to talk on an economic... Philosophic uh, you asked me a question. Level, you really. you asked me a question. When has regulation ever worked? And I'm asking you a yes, question. Yes, and it's far economically or encouraged during government policy. When has regulation ever worked? Well, are you suggesting that uh, we didn't have uh, massive economic growth from uh, the 40s and the 50s and the 60s? Uh, I'm saying that's when we had less of the Fed involved in our economics, and it gave well, a but regulation for was working. Yes. Then regulation has nothing to do with uh, with economic growth because we had it then, didn't we? Economics has nothing to do with. Sorry, repeat the question. Wasn't a question. You asked me when have we ever had uh, a booming economy uh, with a regulatory state, and I just answered you. In the forties, fifties, and sixties. Yeah. I would. I would. I would say that we could have had a bigger economic growth without any regulation. But, yes, we did have an expansive period between okay. those periods. Well, I've answered your question. Do you have any others? No. What, that doesn't answer my question. Okay. So because maybe you've got to repeat your question to me again because, obviously, I didn't understand it. When has regulation ever worked economically or philosophically or anything? Okay, well then let me, if you're going to include philosophically in this, let me go back to my first question to you. Do you have diarrhea? If the answer is no, no I don't it is have because diarrhea. we have regulations that make sure the water that you get out of your tap is clean. I live in Sacramento, and I live on the outskirts, and I have my own well. So I, I don't know. That doesn't apply for me. Okay. I don't have right. fluoride in my water. I get my water tested on a daily basis. So... You know, that, that argument is debunked, and I think. Okay, all right. Let me ask you this: Do you, really in your rural fact, area, probably hold on for a second, for John? A John, in your rural area, do you have electricity? Do I have electricity? Yes. I mean, do you generate yes, your own we have electricity? electricity through a municipal <laughs> utility district? Yes. And do you think that uh, that uh, that is regulated? Do you think that regulation is regulated on a local level per taxpayer and per voters around here? Yeah, okay, we so regulated so ourselves. You got to get more it's specific. Not regulated so, in other words, for level. you, what you're talking about is when is it's federal regulation? Us in our community have levied, levied together. We've levied our money and we've passed this initiative and it's working. Right. Okay, so what you're talking about is federal regulation. You've got to get more specific here because you, you, you keep changing the goal. So when is federal uh, no, regulation? No, no, no. You can give me any specifics you want as where regulations work, but we're regulating ourselves. Oh, you guys are completely autonomous. There's no state regulation on your, uh, on your utility? I'm sure there's state power laws or whatever that apply to the utility districts, but we as voters get to set prices and whatever else is fair. This is SMUD. This is what? SMUD. Sacramento Municipal Utilities District. Okay, and you don't think they're subject to any federal regulations? Going, though. Okay, all right. Well, this, you... this also could be a private company. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of investors getting together for a product. Right. And they're not subject to any federal regulations, as far as you know. We're not. Your argument is that we're not. Yeah, of course we have to apply under federal regulations. I'm sure some kind of security okay, so, exchange commission act and the Department of Corporations and, and under state federal law. But I'm you, saying that these regulations at this state and federal law have done nothing but hurt us. I mean, they've imposed more cost on us as smud 
as the utility payer. Okay, and um, and uh, so uh, what about planes? Do you have any planes that are falling in out, out of the sky? I mean, do you per- perceive like uh, FAA regulations? That so FAA could be organized as a private institution too. I'm not saying let's privatize all government because I'm libertarian. I believe in limited government. Limited government. In the case of a free market economy, well, let's use the case of planes. In the case of planes. Obviously, you can't have competition in the airs without regulation. They couldn't regulate themselves. Is that your argument? We need the government? Yeah. Because why? I don't understand. Because planes are going to crash into each other if we don't have the government. That's your argument? If we don't have the FAA, they're just going to stupidly crash into each other. Well, no, I think that if we don't have... Well, you don't think that they have an economic enterprise to protect their investment? Whom? Who? I would say that the big industry players would basically say, we're going to get the right of way. And uh, we're going to... uh, The big player would probably monopolize it if they would be able to... If they would uh, band together with no regulation. We're getting into semantics there, but I'd like to get back into any other libertarian argument Okay, well, you were the with one who wanted to do regulation. You tell me. an expensive period with non-regulation. I mean, I, I don't understand your point. You think more regulation is good? I think... And uh, I would like to cite many cases where... I don't think more regulation, regulation is good. I don't think less regulation is good. Key. I think that good regulations are good. That's what I think is good. I don't think but regulations for the sake of regulation. You, you seem to forget economic cases since the 17th century, starting with Adam Smith, that, quote, good intentions by the government end up hurting the people. You are so far gone on your economic policies. I don't understand where you think that regulation completes itself in the initiative. That what? Regulation what? Uh, Completes itself. Regulation, in ne- it's a good intention, but it never ends up doing what it's supposed to do. Really, never. You don't think it keeps our skies safe? Well, subsidizing you don't think it, it keeps? It's I mean, I, I listen. Yesterday, yesterday, I had, uh, I had. There's no other privatized company we can go to. I had uh, yesterday. Uh, I took a walk with my daughter along the Hudson River, which. Um, several uh, decades ago, was completely poisoned. Uh, but government regulation uh, has cleaned it up. Well, that's where me and you would agree as a libertarian. I, I see a lot of people on your show, well, I'm not this kind of libertarian. I'm libertarian. So I believe in a limited government. Okay, what does that and mean? Actually, limited to what? corporations or private companies or whoever, the government pollutes the river, we should use the law system to enhance some kind of well, regulations uh, are regulations laws. Kind of that is what the law system is. When the EPA... That is what the law system is, is what? What is the law system? What is that? I don't know what that is. What is when you say law system, the what is court's that? in place, so I don't know if the Hudson... I'm, I'm on the West Coast. I'm in Sacramento. So I can cite any cases over here, but I, I'm sure all the court systems in America work the same. You can sue at a local level through court reform. Uh, and and you can sue no, at it's not a tort reform that you sue through. level. You could sue at a federal level. I, I don't understand what your question is. The courts in place. I think we should still have. Right, the courts we have in place now. What do you think that they adjudicate based upon? Adjudicate the makeup on probably previous cases. That's probably case law. Case and law, no and then there's cases, law law. That's how it works. I don't, Statutory law. Do you want to go law. The law system with me? Like you're not allowed to dump your stuff in the river anymore. So you're... I just told you I agreed with limited government. But what's your question? We shouldn't be allowed to dump stuff in the river? Even if we had no EPA in place, somebody dumping something in the river hurts the community as a whole, and they can get together and file a civil lawsuit, whether it's been a tort in a civil lawsuit, or they used to be able Are to you do familiar with the Cuyahoga River? The EPA takes that right away. Are you familiar with the Cuyahoga the River? To do that for them. Are you familiar with the Cuyahoga the River? Is sort of the government's John. representative of the people. John, can you hear me? Are you familiar yeah. with the Cuyahoga River? 
Are you bringing up different case by case, or what? I don't understand. Let's go on with the Hudson River. Let's complete your thought there, or well, whatever you were trying to say. Well, I can tell you that EPA regulations cleaned up the uh, the Hudson River, the Cuyahoga River, which was uh, which was essentially one of the big impetus to the EPA. Little, was a fun, was a literally on water. fire. The EPA has done great, and, and I agree. Hey, okay. they could have done great there, and they've done great on the West Coast too. Okay, so there's some what, regulation you, you that you don't have a problem with. They, they over-regulate, and they cause businesses to go down, which causes, it's just regulation. You cite these little cases, but that's what I'm telling you. The intention well, is you free. asked me to but cite the EPA will come in where regulation years. was good. What's that? See, John, here's where we're, why hey, we're talking. Pa- hold on for a second, John, think, just calm down. A bit of milk John, treatment. John. Why don't you yeah, cite for me, okay? I'll give you an opportunity, and I'm sure you can come up with one. I probably could come up with one. Can you cite for me a case where a business went under because of regulation? Where businesses went under regulation? Where, where a business went out of business because of regulation. Sure. In California, the EPA passed a clean air regulatory law at state level. And what this did, it was a good idea. We took old machinery, old diesel trucks, and we added in kind of like a second catalytic converter. We've had a $3 billion decline in economy in California, $3 billion because of this regulation. Now, how, and, how do you um, determine far, that? I don't have the statistics on how much it's actually cleaned up, but the intentions were good. Well, how now, do you, wait, 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 hold on, John, like, John, 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 jobs, John, 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 calm jobs. down, John. Where, now, now, how did that work? How did, we, how, did, how did California lose $3 billion because of the addition of a second catalytic converter? How did California lose $3 billion? Well, it is economics, which you're not really that privy on when I'm talking to you. And I don't want to pitch you down, but... Wait, I'm sorry. You, Could you just repeat what you said? When you, it's uh, economics that you're not that privy on? The old machinery, sometimes old companies, that's all they have is old machinery, and that'll put them out because it's not cheap to adhere to these smog laws. Right. And I, I, don't, I don't see what your question is. Well, I was just asking where out? you got... $3 billion worth of revenue was lost. $3 billion worth of revenue? Do you want to divvy out specifically how it was lost and who it was lost from? I don't understand. Well, yeah, I want <laughs> you to substantiate your claim that $3 billion, the economy shrunk by $3 billion because... Of uh, environmental regulations. This was an article in Sacramento Business Journal, and it was an article about how it was basically on heavy machinery equipment, which this law targeted. Okay, and, and so, so the Sacramento I, Business I Journal said that it they business caused. Journal. Okay, and do you did you do any more research after that? Did you see, like, for instance? Uh, how much no, I'm more? I'm a libertarian. This is uh, economic policy. I'm just citing stuff off the top of my head because that's where you wanted to bring this. <sighs> so okay. uh, this isn't like a research policy. The EPA, you brought this up. Right. Okay. But I'm telling you what I know about the EPA, but I would be happy to cite more research I do know about about bigger government agencies. Oh, please. Doing what they think is right and actually doing what's wrong. I mean, if F.A. Hyatt, any economist you want to look at, even to... Thomas Sowell, Milton Friedman, these people spell it out. Nobel Laureate Prize winners. I, I don't understand where your research has flopped there. All right, well, no, well, you want to talk they, about they the like other... They like to criticize things like the welfare system and bigger issues we should be talking about here, All right, well, rather than you trying to cite two things that the EPA did on the West Coast. Okay, well, why don't you uh, t- tell me what, what it is that you want to... Uh, well, we can talk one more topic. We've got time for one more topic. What is it that you want to... Uh, where where do you want to plant your flag here? Well, you know, you you drew away a liberal. I mean, you drew away a libertarian to a liberal, and we're pretty close on some issues. I think, uh, you know, especially family or whatever, we should be able to choose what you want. But you, I think you really misportrayed. They, she specifically told me that economic policy is just better than libertarians. Yeah. Regulation will bring about the the things we want. And I just was kind of hoping you had like, an example like, of that. Well, like, I cited them. Like, uh, we have a clean river here in the Hudson is now clean. 
uh, less smog in California, less asthma for kids, less medical expenses borne by the state, a healthier environment. You know, hold on, I'd like to stop you. You're, you're stating these little specifics. I'm stating a government as a whole. I, I, I don't... You, you just, your argument is flawed. You're stating little points, and you're misconstruing the argument. I would like you to stay on topic. Okay. What government that has regulated its people to the point as we regulate ours has ever prevailed? What government has regulated the people to the, the point that we're regulating ours has prevailed? Well, I guess ours. Uh, uh, economic theory. That's what we're talking about, economics. Uh, economic policy. Okay, Europe? Yeah. Yeah, Europe. All of Europe. Uh, Europe. Europe has failed. Failed completely. I don't know what you're playing at. That is so general. It's disgusting. Well, you Greece? just asked me to list a bunch of governments. Greece? Are you talking about Greece? Let's talk about Greece. How about, how about Greece has Brazil overregulated or China themselves. Or Singapore they have so or... much government they can't even pay for it. That is the economic reason that they are in the hole. That is what you're defining. I don't know. Greek uh, economics. We can look at anything else. What, what specifically are you saying about Europe? Well, you asked me what governments have survived or prevailed. Japan. Um, I mean, we probably... Japan uh, is, uh, I, I don't know, Japan was a government was created by our government, the Wilson Institute, in the, the early 1900s after World War II. So I, I, that's modeled off of Free Economic Institute, which I am trying to vote for. It was well, modeled, it was modeled after us. Just said, wait a second. Second. We had big regulation. We yeah, had huge so regulation. Cool. We created the Japanese government, dude. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. You create the jobs in government, though. Is that what you just said? No, that no, is no. so oxymoronic, and that statement is so false. It's unbelievable. You're the creating statement government was jobs? literally false, wait, as wait, in wait. that's not what I said. <laughs> Are you funding jobs? Are you subsidizing private companies? How do you define that? No, no. I, 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 th I think you just misinterpreted. You, you uh, start saying these words, and we're supposed to salivate like Pavlov's dog, you know? Government uh, creation of jobs. That is oxymoronic. There, there's, government doesn't create jobs. People create jobs. Government doesn't create jobs? People create jobs? Um, yes. well, who do you think is government in the government? Does not create jobs. That is an absolutely 100% true statement. Government does not create jobs. Really? The examples of where government does create jobs. You know, uh, uh, John, before you called in, John, John, like, while you were on the phone, like, John, why, you, John, 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 just now listen now, for a second. John, quiet jobs. for a second. You just said government doesn't create jobs, right? Government I just does read not a, create jobs, no. I just read a piece from uh, Josephine County in Oregon where 23 of 29 deputies in Josephine County, sheriff deputies, had to be laid off because of federal funds that were cut off that were providing those jobs for those 23 sheriffs. And the other implications of that story is that a woman was raped because the sheriffs uh, could not, they didn't have anybody to send out to her. So don't tell me the government doesn't create jobs. Did you see uh, in Oklahoma so any of the... You're citing a specific incident where a woman got raped somewhere, and now I'm so fatally like Pavlov's dog again. You're creating this one incident, and you're blowing it out of proportion because Well, these, wait a second. There's no economic... There is no proof that these guys getting laid off caused this girl to get raped. And you're making that claim, you're making that leap, and I'm supposed to swallow it here. And I like this is a real conversation. But don't even look but at the don't, don't, don't even don't even your, look don't even look at the rape part. He just said that federal funding cut cost those twenty three sheriffs their job. Just look at that. Forget the girl getting raped. Government. How does that not prove that government You're creates saying jobs? That's the cause of the girl getting raped is because the sheriff. This government was creates wrong. jobs for Christ's God. sake! God. <laughs> Go to a freaking learning addict! <laughs> right, I right. can't take hey, this. Hey guys, stop it. Stop it, John, okay, John, John, Which, John, let me apologize. We need to live in a complete let me, state John, let me apologize. That's, that's, that's let, first, let me apologize state. for how you know rude my two producers job. just were to you. Let me just apologize. You have destroyed my meditation retreat effect, sir. <laughs> the stupidity John, that's cry, Stop, stop. I'm going to cut your microphones. John, I apologize for how rude my producers were. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm just trying to wonder, though, like, where the thinking is. 
You're thinking that nobody gets raped where there's lots of police? <laughs> No, John, John, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just, uh, we've gotten like, off point. Well, I obviously, I shouldn't have brought that second part in. All I can tell you is that the Sheriff's Department says that they have cut 23 jobs from a 29-person uh, Sheriff's Deputies Force because of the cuts in federal funding. Let's just keep it on that terrain. Okay. Now, would you concede, I understand this is just a specific, and you want some type of broader non-specific non-tangible example, but in, just indulge me. In that instance, the federal government had created 23 jobs. Or who? What? Uh, you're going to have to cite what you're saying. The government cut these 23 young gentlemen from the local oh, I don't know employment, if they right? No, the, the federal government, government didn't cut it. The federal government and, and was providing funds. Listen, okay. All right, I want you to write this down, okay, so that you can, you can Google it. It'll be really easy. I don't want to Google it. I just want to hear what you're saying. All right. All right, you're going to have to listen now. The sheriff's department cut 23 of its 29 deputies because of cuts in the Secure Rural Schools and Community Self-Determination Act which provided funding to this county to hire um, police officers and other county okay, workers. Okay, let's stop right there, because we can break it down from what you're saying. 23 cops got fired. They hired them back on through some act or fund. That act and fund is paid by the taxpayer. So you really didn't create any job that's being subsidized. It's another subsidy. So that in and of itself, I can stop you right there. You don't even need to go any further. So those aren't, what do We're you define as jobs? Out of thin air. They're being funded out of mine and your pockets. And it's right. not such a bad thing to employ 23 But you know what? Cops. You know what? I got news for you, John. Uh, I am being subsidized by the people who pay for this show. What's being subsidized? Well, excuse you me, see, here's that? John. John, all right, listen. Listen, you're, you're the problem, John, quiet for, second, quiet for a second. Quiet for a second, John, because I've given you a lot of time here. Politics. John, quiet for a second. The problem is, is that you simply have an ideological problem with taxpayers funding government and then government hiring people. You decide to say that that's not jobs, it's subsidies. I, this is a meaningless distinction to me, and you can take that for what it's worth. You can say that I'm an ideologue because I don't have a problem with taxpayers funding the government and then okay. the government well, hiring people to provide us services. Where you, the the you ideologically, you are trapped. Somewhere else, or you are trapped in the taxpayer's pocket, which I guarantee you it's not. It's you, a mismanagement of government. You, John, and I've muted you, so the people know. You have an ideological problem with people paying taxes and the government redistributing that money to pay for police services, fire services, the FAA. The EPA, the FDA, all of these government agencies, you have an ideological problem with that, and so you decide that you're not going to define the people hired by that money as having jobs. Well, that's fine. You're just making up words. That's the problem. I'll give you the last word, John, but it's got to be quick. Go ahead. Uh, I, the federal government should not be in charge of the police, the fire department. And, uh, I don't know, civil servants within the local level. I think you're mistaking okay. that. Somehow they get earmarked through certain funds. Right. I can concede that. Yes. But All that right. is control. Both sheriffs are elected at a local level. Right. Great, great last word, John. Got to jump now. Got to jump. But feel free, issue, John, it, it really feel free to call back, so but I got to let you go. Where the money went I got to let you go. Call back any time, John, but I got to let you go. Earmark? All right, I got to let you go, but I'll call back anytime. All right, I got to I got to continue on with the show. Free market demands it. <laughs>